Hey, I'm Quentin, and this is my very first Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this effect. So it's just like the average hit and run tutorial in Adobe After Effects. Today I'm, go I'm just going to show you how to use the puppet pin tool, how to mask and rotoscope and all that stuff. And I need to keep this under 10 minutes because the last tutorial ma I made was about 11 minutes and it wouldn't upload to YouTube. So first, take your clip and drag it into the new composi composition button over here. Your video needs to be on a tripod and just walk across the road, then walk back, and then have someone drive a car across the screen. So first you're going to take this layer and duplicate it um, to make three layers. So hold control D, control and then press D twice, one, two. Name the top layer, person, the bottom layer, the middle layer, car, and the bottom layer, BG, for background. First we're going to take the person layer and then find the place where you want him to get hit, which is right about here. And you're going to just drag it to close it. So now it, this composition, this layer ends here. Next, we're going to take the background layer. First, take the person and car layer, and there are these eyeballs over here. Click on them for both of them. So now you can only see the background layer. Now take the background layer and find a spot where you can't see the person or the car, which is right here. Now right click, then do time, freeze frame. So now it's just one picture. Now you can turn the car and the person on, so now they're visible again. Now go, now go to the car layer and find the part where the car comes, which is right over here. So now take away the beginning of this clip and then drag it underneath the person layer. Next we're going to take the person layer and hit T which brings up the opacity setting. Lower it to 50 temporarily just for right now. Now we're going to find where you want him to get hit. Okay so right here. Now we're going to take the car layer and drag it until like right about here so it looks like he's going to get hit. Now you can take the person layer and bring the opacity back up to 100. Take the person layer again and then take the pen tool which is a pen. But first go to the beginning of the timeline. Now just draw like a square around where the actor is going to be. And then click on the person layer hit M for the mask path, and then click on the stopwatch. Now just drag it along the timeline until you see the car coming. Then you click on this area over here, which adds a keyframe, so it won't affect any of this area in between. Now you can hit page down, and then now you can move this. That's a little bit too much though. So go page up and line it up so that the car is about to hit him. Now when you go page down, it's like hitting him, but it's like overlapping him. So we're going to click on the person layer, hit hold alt and bracket, which ends that, that layer. So now you basically have the car that's about to hit him but we're not done yet. So click on the person layer, then go up to composition, save frame as Photoshop layer, and save it into whichever folder you want as person. Now find it, which I'm doing right now. Okay, and now import it in. Just press OK now. And then import it underneath the person layer, but above the car layer. So now it's just a picture of that. So scroll in. 
and use you can use the hand tool to drag it around and then use the pen tool to cut out your person So there, that's about right. So this is going to be the person that's going to hit by the car. Now click on this layer that we just cut and rename it as pick for picture. And go to the spot right after the person layer disappears. And then click on the pick layer, press P for the position properties, then press the stopwatch. Now you're just basically going to move him as if he's following the car, as if he's getting hit. You can hit page down to go down a frame. And then just like drag him along the car. So there, now you can see he's like getting hit. Except we're not done because he's like a block of wood. He's not bent over. So now we're going to click on the pick layer then go up here, here there, where the puppet pin tool is. Now just click once on his head, once on his back, and once where his knees are. And then left click on the puppet pin tool and three options will come up. Click on puppet starch tool. Just click in like about like three areas of him. It's kind of hard to explain what you need to, to do this for, but yeah so now um we can bend him around so now like go down a frame wherever you want to go and see you can bend him over so like it looks like he's like actually getting hit and now when you go page down he's stuck like that so this is basically basically the effect we want but but also you can see a line in between um, at the beginning of the timeline, you can see a line in between the actor and where the car is. So we're going to click on the person layer, hit F, and feather it a little bit, and it'll blend together. And if you want, you can add in a sound effect for when the person gets hit. I used the large crash from HollywoodEdge.com. They have a bunch of really good quality sound effects. You can get yours from there. And then just like line it up where you want it. And I won't have enough time to render it out. So this is basically the effect you want. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment box below. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye.